What's up Destiny players, Riceman here from Entourage Gaming bringing you round two of the Spark of Hope Thursday Night Kessel Run here at Card Addicts in Birmingham, Alabama. For round two we have Lake on the left from your Destiny playing Vader Greedo. On the right we have Melvin playing Phasma Sentinel with Retribution. Melvin actually wins the roll off here which is a little bit shocking with Vader. So they'll play on Salt Flats. That'll take Fighting Pit out of the question. That's a huge plus to Melvin early on. Lake will take the two shields on Vader. Melvin's going to power action for his first turn. Roll out two First Order Stormtrooper dice. Gets a two range and a blank. Lake's going to play Neiman Mastery. When it's played, he's able to turn a character or an upgrade dice to any side. So he'll blank that two range. Or do a... Melvin thinking what to do here. Melvin's going to go ahead and probe. Look at two random cards. Pulls a Fear and Dead Men and a Maul Saber. That's a pretty good start for Melvin getting the battlefield and getting a Fear and Dead Men out. Lake does have a Maul Saber though, which can hurt. Lake's going to roll out Vader with a blank, a resource, and a two resource. Melvin's going to pay two for Mind Extraction, which will take away Vader's ability to discard a card to reroll dice back into the pool. Lake's going to discard a reroll. It's a 4 pay 1, has no money. A 2 shield. He's going to reroll the Neiman because it uh, got cracked on the corner. It rolls into a special. So Melvin's going to roll out the Sentinel. Sentinel hits on a focus. He's going to look at the top card, chooses not to play it. Be Lake's action. It's going to roll out Greedo. It's at two range. Greedo coming in with the heavy damage early. Phasma will come out with a one gun and a resource. Lake's going to discard a wanted. To re roll Vader's dice. Rolls a blank and a three melee. Melvin's going to call sticks. He hits sticks. There's a focus to a three melee. So there's no upgrade dice in the pool for him to change, but he could have changed an upgrade dice as well with Neiman Mastery Special. When Neiman Mastery is played, you can turn a you can turn one to any side. When the special hits, you can turn two. Melvin's got a sinister piece to get the three out. Lake will pop two into Phasma. Lake has one card in hand, no resources. Melvin keeps his cards everywhere but on the table, so who knows how many cards he has right now. But he will power action Salt Flats to a focus. Looks like Lake is claimed. So Melvin will pop six into Vader, two off the shields, and then four damage. And Lake did claim. And we are off to round two. Mind Extraction still on Vader. So any dice that are removed, he cannot power action them back in. So two dollars to each player.
like thinking about rolling out Vader, and he does. So Vader hits the special on Neiman with a resource and a three melee. Melvin's going to roll out the Sentinel, hitting a resource. Look at the top card of the deck. Hoping for some mitigation there. Doesn't see any. Just like want to use a special to turn the uh, resource to another melee. Put the pressure on early, or does he want to hold on to that? This has to go ahead and just take the two resources, so he's up to four now. Here's a power action on Phasma. Rolls in with a two range and a one range. There's three for the Pulse Cannon on Greedo. Pulse Cannon, a new card from Spark of Hope. Three will go into Vader. Real quick on the Pulse Cannon, its power action is to resolve the dice, then roll it back in and resolve it if able, and then roll it back in one more time and resolve if able. Great power action if you have the money. If you don't, could be a waste. Melvin takes the resource, and we're going to see that power action right now. There's two into Phasma. Link will be able to roll it back in. It's another two. Able to roll it back in. It's the one. That'll be one more. Link's going to read over the card to make sure that he has to resolve it, which he does. So he'll definitely do the one into Phasma. So that'll put Phasma at five health remaining. Great rolls there by Lake. Getting five damage in one turn. No one will ever complain about that. Phasma will come out now. The two range and a shield. There's three more into Phasma, so Phasma's already at ten, two health remaining. Lake still has the mastery special on line. There's two more. Lake's going to power action to blank the resource, keeping him off of Mega Blasters. Like looking for something real fast here. While we wait for Lake to get back, reminder that this episode is sponsored by Pepperidge Farms. Pepperidge Farms remembers. Always and forever. Now we're back to live action. With a special into a two range that's threatening lethal on Phasma. So Melvin's going to tech team into a tech team. Means blaster troopers are going to be two cost next round if he gets it. Lake's going to pay one for an enticing reward. Which is a good play there because if Melvin does not have any mitigation, he's going to be able to kill Phasma. And then he could play a weapon from his discard pile or his hand for free. We know he had the Maul Saber earlier. Yep, so Melvin's just going to tech team into an ATRT. He has nothing for it. Like discards to reroll nothing. He could have just went in for the kill there. But with Melvin having no mitigation, I don't think it really matters. Yep, Melvin's just going to claim he's going to have to take it. So there's the two. Blake will get to play that for free. I think he just realized he could have just played that from hand, but that's okay. 
either way, he's able to get what he wanted out of it, so that worked out well for him. With Phasma down, Sentinel is still full health. Vader at six health remaining. Melva's going to need a Mega Blaster Troopers or a Fist or something super quick to keep him, get himself back in this game. Melvin has three resources, two tech teams, so Vader's Fist is online. Mega Blaster Troopers is online. If he plays the new Super Laser Siege Cannon, it's online. He's tapping them both. One, two, three. For the Fist, that's our new alt art. Our, it's our alt art from the Outer Rim Smuggler days. Rolls into a three. Lake Forsaken's the three. It's technically not able to do that. Melvin does not pick up on it though. That's okay. I think this game is pretty close out of hand, but Melvin will roll it back in with the activation for a four indirect with a pay side. Lake will roll out Vader. Vader hits a resource, two shield, a plus three on uh, Mauls, and a blank. That Forsaken play there really could have kept Melvin in the game, actually. He could have been able to deal three unless Lake had some other kind of mitigation, which he might have. Melvin's going to roll out the AT. Looks like a plus two, which would be six indirect. Because Melvin has no money, he cannot pay for it. Greedo rolls out with a three pay one on the Pulse Cannon and a one range. Lake does have two dollars, so he's going to be able to pretty much do whatever he wants to with that Pulse Cannon. You know, it has no resources. So he's going to Sinister Peace the Pulse Cannon, discard an Imperial Officer to do so. Like discards his Forsaken to reroll. It's a two on the Neiman Mastery resource and a blank on Vader. Here comes the messenger out. It's a two melee. He'll look at the top card, of course. Does not play it. Lake will resolve two from the Neiman Mastery into the Messenger. It's going to put him at six health left. So Melvin's, Melvin's going to do two into Vader. It's Vader at four health left. There's an overwrite for a Dooku dealing another damage. Because it is on a Sith. Melvin needs to discard to re-roll here. Or he needs to blank that too. He's going to pass. Keeps passing. That's two indirect. That's a new card from Spark of Hope. Inflict Pain. That's two indirect to each player. Of course, two goes into Greedo. Two more into the Sentinel. So that's six. And that's it. Great hand there by Lake, being able to play two Inflict Pains. He knew he had the, the game-winning damage. So congratulations to Lake for winning round two. We'll see him in round three here shortly. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe to Entourage Gaming for more videos.